G'day everyone, Tempo here, and welcome to the TD Project. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about something that really shouldn't need to be talked about because it really shouldn't be a thing, but it is, and it's actually quite dangerous. Um, I was going to be saving this topic for much further down the track, but I decided to bring it forward, fast track this video a bit, because I was scrolling through the Facebook this morning and a clip appeared on my feed from A Current Affair and I watched the clip and what I'm going to talk about, it, it's actually killed someone. So this video that I'm making is partially influenced by what I saw on A Current Affair and that is that misusing deodorant can kill you. So essentially on a current affair, there was this teenager who intentionally inhaled deodorant and he died from a direct result of intentionally inhaling deodorant. And I will put the link to that a current affair clip somewhere, but um, yeah, if you haven't seen it already, I encourage you to watch it before proceeding with this video. Otherwise, watch this, then watch the clip. Doesn't really matter. I'll do my best to cover everything in this video anyway, but yeah. A teenager, an Australian teenager, has intentionally inhaled deodorant and died. And I just don't quite understand why that happened. Well, I kind of do, but at the same time I don't, because I feel it should be common sense not to inhale deodorant. Also, aside from that, aside from it being common sense not to intentionally inhale deodorant, it's, there's, there's also warning labels on the packaging of the deodorant cans. It clearly states on every deodorant can to not inhale deodorant, to not intentionally misuse deodorant. It's for external use only. And the last time I checked, breathing something in is not external use. So, like if you had, if everyone has a bit of common sense, and reads warning labels on packaging, which are clearly marked as warning labels, then people shouldn't be misusing products, which will then lead to them being significantly injured or potentially dying. But that's not the case, and I regret to inform that someone has died because of this. And before I get any further into this video, I just want to say, like, this death, the death of this Australian teenager, is a tragic and unnecessary loss and my condolences go out to everyone directly affected by this, his family and friends, and in particular his mother, who A Current Affair is now branding as a very brave woman because she's now attempting to take action against the Rexona company. And yeah, so my condolences go out, my sympathies, but at the same time, the mother of this teenager is attempting to take action against Rexona, the company that produced the deodorant that killed this teenager, and I feel you should not be taking action against Rexona. It's unnecessary. Rexona is not responsible for the death of your son. The only person to blame, in, if I'm being brutally honest, the only person to blame for this teenager dying is the teenager himself. And maybe partial blame to his mates, because I can highly guarantee that he was probably peer pressured into doing this. So partial responsibility on his mates, but most of the blame needs to go on the, on the teenager himself. I'm sorry, but you should just not be inhaling deodorant intentionally. Because apparently this is a thing, this is a thing that's trending right now amongst young people. They are intentionally inhaling various things, mainly deodorant, to get some sort of high or buzz. And if you are intentionally misusing products to get some sort of high or buzz, then you should not hold whatever company or business or whoever is that manufactured that product, like Rexona with their deodorant, you should not hold them accountable for whatever happens next, because that's all on you. I'm sorry, that needed to be said. But anyway, this the mother of this teenager is taking action against Rexona and Unilever. I believe Unilever is the parent company of Rexona. So she's taking action against these big companies, these 
multinational companies because she wants them to make a to oversimplify what's happening. She wants them to make awareness campaigns about the danger of misusing products. And I personally feel that there is already an awareness campaign about misusing these products, and that is called the warning labels that is on the packaging of these products. Like, all you have to do is pick up a deodorant can, pick up a Rexona can, look at the label where it says Rexona, do a 180 on the can, and on the back you got all these warning labels. Don't inhale, don't misuse, external use only. But apparently that's not enough. And honestly, I'm not surprised because I feel more and more people are not reading the packaging of things they buy. And in particular, the younger generation. So, this is, as a side note, in case you haven't realised, uh, one of my various jobs is that I am a high school teacher. And I have caught many, way too many kids misusing deodorant cans. Spraying it in each other's faces and whatnot. And I've always called them out on it, try to get them to stop, and then I, that leads into the bewildered conversation between me and these kids, with me starting off, you know, spraying deodorant in your mouth or someone else's mouth, intentionally breathing in deodorant is dangerous and it can potentially kill you. And all the kids are like, nine times out of ten, the kids are all like bewildered by this statement, because they're like, what? No way. Where, where, where'd you get that fact from, sir? That's ridiculous. And then I'll go, turn the can around, and read the can, it says so on the bloody can. And then they'll proceed to read the can with absolute astonishment and amazement and bewilderment. Because clearly, these kids are buying things without reading them, even though a lot of the things that they buy have warning labels on them. Like, it's one thing to not care about where the product is made, or what goes into it, and rah, rah, rah. But it's a complete other thing to not notice warning labels on packaging. That is a completely different thing. If you buy something, you should know whether or not it has a warning label on it, and if it does, you should read it. And this, I guess this can kind of link back to that video I made a while back about Australian houses catching fire in winter due to people misusing heaters. The packaging on heaters have warning labels, but people clearly aren't reading them, and the houses are catching fire. But we'll save that. I already made a video about that, and I'll do a follow-up video about that later. Let's get back to deodorant. Rexona and every other deodorant company does not need to make an awareness campaign about the dangers of misusing their products. There is warning labels on their packaging and that should be enough. And I feel it should be common sense to not intentionally breathe in deodorant to get a buzz or a high. That should be common sense. That should be awareness enough. But no, this, this mother is having a go at Rexona because she is blaming them for killing her son and that's not the case. I'm sorry, that is not the case. Young people out there, these teenagers, they're misusing the products intentionally, clearly ignoring the warning labels, and they're getting themselves hurt and killed, and it's not the fault of Rexona. Okay? That's like saying uh, petrol stations need to start an awareness campaign for why you should not breathe in petrol. Or helmet companies need to start an awareness campaign for why you should do the strap up on your helmet or sugar companies need to do an awareness campaign for why you should not snort sugar through your nose like it's see the list of these things can just go on and on it's indefinite companies should not need to make awareness campaigns of the dangers of you misusing these products especially in the case of Rexona when they put warning labels on their packaging expressing do not misuse our product because it can potentially kill you, okay? That should be all the awareness you need. That and a little bit of common sense, okay? Like, let's say, let's say your kid or someone you know is riding their motorbike and they end up in a crash and their helmet flies off because their strap wasn't done up and they died due to severe head trauma or whatever and then you then decide to sue the helmet company, like uh, Bell or Shark or whoever, and you're like, well, you should do an awareness campaign to tell people to put the strap up on their helmet because having the helmet on without the strap is clearly not enough. Well, nah, because I have a helmet. There was a warning label in my packaging saying to do the strap up because not only was there a warning label, but it's common sense. If you're gonna wear a helmet, you should do the strap up. It 
come on guys, like, you can't hold companies accountable for your injuries or death if you misuse their products. I'm sorry, but that, that, that's the point that I'm trying to drive home with this video. If you or someone you know gets injured, harmed or whatever, or dies because you've misused, you've intentionally misused the product, especially if this product has warning labels on the packaging, you cannot hold that company accountable. Especially if the, like I said, especially if there is warning labels, because that is the company doing their best to make sure that they can't be held accountable for you misusing their product and then coming back at them because they've already told you don't misuse their product. I'm sorry, but that needed to be said. And I'm gonna try and wrap this video up with a couple of points. First off, don't inhale deodorant. It's dangerous, it's common sense, I'm telling you now, and it's on all the packages. Don't inhale deodorant. Next, you need to read the packages, the packaging of whatever it is you buy, including deodorant or whatever. And in particular, if there's warning labels, read the warning labels. Um, it, sounds, it sounds a bit intuitive, but a lot of people just aren't doing it. And you might be surprised how many lives would be saved, how many deaths would not be covered on the news due to people not dying from not misusing things because they're not reading warning labels. Like, it's not just deodorant, it's all kinds of things. Just flick through a current affair or today, tonight or whatever and people are constantly dying. They seem to get... Be it's not just deodorant. People are always dying because they're misusing products and they're not reading warning labels. Just read the warning labels and actually follow them. Like, just don't be like, it's not going to happen to me. Just just read the warning label. And also, let's, let's use some common sense, okay? Please, just use common sense. I know it's not that common anymore, but let's try and bring common sense back. Let's make common sense a thing. Um, and just another thought, I know I didn't put this on here, but another thought occurred to me. Uh, peer pressure, okay? I'm sure I've covered this in at least one other video, but if your peers, if your mates are pressuring you to do something and you have enough common sense to think, hmm, that's potentially harmful, that's potentially dangerous, I might die if I do that, and you choose not to do that, and your mates start bagging you out for it, they're not your mates, all right? Just leave them be, go get some different mates, get some better mates, all right? Because at the end of the day, your mates aren't worth dying over a deodorant can for, okay? Like, I'm not saying your mates aren't worth dying for if they're truly good bloody mates, but they're not worth dying over something stupid like inhaling a deodorant can. Okay? So please, let's just use some common sense and let's be safe out there and read the bloody warning labels, guys. Come on. And, oh yeah, one other point. Yeah, I already said it, I already said it heaps of times, but we gotta stop. We gotta stop bagging our companies for our mistakes, okay? All right, let's try and wrap it up there, but hey, I guess that's just my opinion, but please, please let me know what you guys think in the comments below and make sure you do all those YouTube things, you know, like, comment, share, subscribe, get notified, be kind, rewind, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.